guy for the haters. Um, there was a story that the owner of the Suns threatened to relocate the team. Move him. Um, I say move him. You, you say move him? Move him to Seattle. Just like that? Move him to Seattle. I don't think Phoenix is going to make something too crazy. I don't think. I mean, I, I could be wrong, but move him uh, to Seattle. They, they've been so bad since the days of Amari Mom, and yeah. Steve Nash yeah. and Jason I remember Jason Richardson knocking down a three in the conference final against the Lakers yes, years ago and that that was it I mean when you think of the great Suns teams that I mean that was one of them and then you had the uh, Kevin Johnson, uh, Charles Barkley, Dan Marley, stuff. Back to 1992. You right, take, yeah, I'm taking it. Yeah, <laughs> as, as far as what I know, I don't know any other great Suns teams. Rest in peace to Wayman Tisdale. You know, past Sandra that. Sabalos. <laughs> yeah. Cedric Sabalos. What do you see? Is it on NBA TV? Uh, oh, they did that. Cedric Sabalos? Did Cedric Sabalos die? No. Okay. No. You know what? I know Wayman Tisdale passed. I do know. Wayman Tisdale did pass away. Cedric Sabalos, if you remember, last year when we were discussing Jason Whitlock, mm -hmm. Cedric Sabalos was on that Jason Whitlock show when they were. It was um, it was Whitlock and Chris Broussard going back and forth uh -huh. about oh, Catholic stuff. Oh, he was there. And Sabalos was there. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, right, yeah, so he's, he's still he's still alive. Cedric Sabalos. He he's still alive. Um, how do I feel about it? Um, I think it's nothing new when these teams threaten to relocate. It, this is just more yeah, about, sure, sure, sure. I want a new arena. This, this is what this is about. Yeah, yeah, and I get it. You know, I get it 100%. Yeah, I mean, all these teams in these sports, they do this stuff all the time. Um, but, I mean, if you're the Phoenix Suns and you haven't been successful for, you know, God knows when... I mean, is that really? I mean, it, I mean, I don't. Know. Is, I, is, I don't necessarily always think that because your team been bad for years, that's the reason to relocate. Uh, sure, but I mean, there are examples like the the St. Louis Rams. They mm -hmm. had a stretch where they were bad, and then all of a sudden they go to L.A. and they're good again. I the New that. Jersey Nets had a stretch where they were bad, and then they move across the river to Brooklyn, and then they get good for a few years. I mean, you know, uh, I, I mean, you know, I'm, I, again, I'm just, I, yeah, I, I'm yeah, just throwing yeah, out examples. Yeah, sometimes locations. Sometimes it happens. Yeah, sometimes that that stuff yeah, happens. Yeah, I get it. It okay. happens sometimes. Um, I, I just got the question whether the city of Phoenix is still hungry for Suns basketball. Like, is is there still? Vince Wright like says the Phoenix has supported Suns forever. Keep them there. Okay. I guess you mean like they they still rock with the they've Suns. They've been yeah. They they've been around you know for you know matter of, that probably was their first team for me, in that city. I don't know. I you know I, I don't know. I but, wouldn't know. You know that that probably was their first team. So um, yeah, they've had a couple of finals appearances. Yeah. So I mean I gotta think that there is a section of that city that has love that remembers yeah that yeah that remembers the old days and has love for this team still. Um, look, there have been many franchises that seem like they're untouchable and have, you know, went on to newer cities, i.e. the Cleveland Browns, the Seattle Sonics, just to, you know, yeah. name a few. Yeah. If the Suns relocated, I, I mean... I wouldn't be upset. I don't think it's going to be that... I, I don't think it's going to be... Me a, personally, a I wouldn't be upset, but I don't live in Phoenix. So yeah, I, I wouldn't be upset, yeah. but I'm just looking at it from a national standpoint that I don't think this would... This would not be an uproar. I wonder... I wonder, because the, the cities that were mentioned were Vegas and Seattle. Yes. I know, for, I know for a fact that Seattle was missing basketball. Yes, they are. And I know for a fact that Vegas is getting ready to become um, this sports town, yeah, like it's getting ready to become something. It yep. seems like with the uh, the hockey team, hockey team the there, Raiders, the Raiders going and, there, and so I mean that that makes sense. Yeah, that, that does make sense. It certainly does. I tell you what, if they if they leave and they change the team name, yeah, all together, right, right. I gotta tell you, those Suns throwback jerseys back in the nineties, those were some ill jerseys. I gotta I gotta say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some some really ill jerseys. I had a Kevin Johnson jersey when I was about ten years old. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you know that if, if anything.
God for the haters, though. I thank God for the haters. Thank God. Thank God for the haters, though. I thank God.